Hi friends! In this video, we're going to be talking about the pros and cons of niching your freelance bookkeeping business. My name is Susan Osborne and I am the founder of the Bookkeeper Society where we teach new and aspiring bookkeepers the skills needed to become an amazing bookkeeper. All right, so before we get started, be sure and hit the subscribe button so that you are updated when new videos release. So the first pro I see of niching your bookkeeping business is really becoming an expert in your field. So if you're working with one specific industry, you're going to become an expert in that industry. You're going to know what their typical costs are, what their trends are. If they're cyclical, you're going to know when that is. You're going to know what, you know, standard percentages are for their gross margin for their net income, where they need to be spending money, where they shouldn't be spending money. You're just really going to become an expert because you're going to see exactly what's going on in that industry. You're going to know what's happening in the industry across different businesses. And it just really makes you that much more knowledgeable and specialized. And so when you become specialized like that, you become more valuable to your clients because you can say, look, I see you're spending money on this. I don't know that you really need to be spending money on this because you may see it on other businesses that you're doing books for, they're not spending money on that and it's not making a difference. So just things like that, you can see things on a more, you know, across the board kind of level and you can become an expert. And you can also get to know different trends in the industry. So for example, I work with a lot of spas and I can tell you that there's a certain percentage that they should be spending in rent, for example. And if I have a new spa owner come on and they're spending a lot more in rent, I might say, oh, you're spending a lot in rent. You know, you can either need to increase your revenue or find a cheaper rent, you know, or work down your landlord to bring your rent down, etc. The example being you want to be able to be an expert and see things like this so that you can be of more value to your clients and knowing the industries you know, whatever industry it is you decide to niche in, it's just going to make you so much more valuable and so much more of an expert. And so you'll become known as the expert photography bookkeeper or spa bookkeeper or fitness yoga studio bookkeeper, you know, whatever it might be, you will become the expert because you'll get to know the industry and you'll get to know what is normal and not normal and what expenses they should have and not have. So it's a really great advantage of niching is, you know, becoming the expert. Now, another advantage of becoming the expert in a particular niche is that you get to charge more because you are an expert and even more expert and specialized than a general bookkeeper. So you really get to charge even more because you're providing that much more value and that much more knowledge around that industry that your client is in. So that's a huge advantage of becoming a niche expert. Another huge advantage of becoming an expert in a particular niche or focusing on a particular niche is that it's easier and easier to do your marketing and finding new clients. So if you are specialized in, let's say, the photography industry, you can get to know photographers in your area. A lot of them belong to Facebook groups that are specific to that industry. They go to conferences, they have networking events that are specific for their industry. You can actually find your people, find your people so much easier because it's very targeted. And the other advantage of that is once you get one or two clients in that industry, they talk to each other. So they're going to talk to other photographers who need bookkeepers and they're going to recommend you. So it just makes everything so much easier. It makes the work easier because you know and understand the industry, but it also makes marketing so much easier because you understand where to find your people. You know where to find you and they will talk to each other. So industry professionals talk to each other. They share notes, they share resources, and they're going to recommend you as their expert bookkeeper. So that's just going to be more business for you. Okay. So let's talk about a few cons of niching. I don't really think there are a lot, but but you could consider these some cons of niching. And that would be if you pick an industry that is very seasonal, that could be an issue because if it goes down for one of your clients, the sales are gonna go down for all of your clients. So you've gotta make sure that you are not picking industries that are seasonal and that kind of can stay consistent throughout the year. The other con of niching could be that you feel like you're too limited. Like maybe you're only working with one type of business and you're not getting enough variety in your work. And that could be a con of niching. The nice thing is you can niche, but you can also take on clients outside of your niche as well. It's not like you're locked into that particular niche. You can always take clients outside of your niche if that's what you want to do. 
At the end of the day, I don't think there's a lot of cons to niching, but I will say I don't think you have to niche, especially when you're first starting out. When you're first starting out as a freelance bookkeeper, you might want to work with a variety of different companies to figure out what industry you want to niche in, and even if you want to niche at all. I know bookkeepers who have very successful bookkeeping businesses with over 50 clients, and they don't niche. They work with anybody who needs a bookkeeper, and that works too, and there are a lot of really big bookkeeping businesses were built that way. So don't feel like you have to niche. It's not certainly required that you do that. I do think there are a lot of advantages to it, but again, it's not something you have to do. And if you have no idea what kind of niche you would even want to focus on, think about your past experience. Have you worked in certain industries? Did you work in a dental office at one point? Have you been a photographer? Have you been a yoga instructor? I personally have an esthetician license, so it was really easy for me to transition into the spa industry because I understood the industry and I love the industry. So look at your past experience, look at your interests. If you're really passionate about health and wellness, you may want to niche into fitness studios or franchise fitness studios because there's a lot of those out there now. So there's a lot of different things you can niche in, but think about your experience, think about your interests, Think about you know, what you would be excited about, what type of client you would be excited about working with, and then you know focus on going into those niches. Now, if you have no idea, there's really nothing that's popping out at you in terms of a niche you would wanna work in, then don't niche. You don't have to niche. Work with different types of clients and different types of businesses, and your niche might find you. And you may never niche. You may have a long career as a bookkeeping business owner and never niche, and that's okay. <laughs> so I just want you to understand the options there and see the advantages of niching, because I do think there are a lot of advantages to it. But again, it's not something you have to do. Okay, so I hope this conversation has helped you get the creative juices flowing if you wanna niche your bookkeeping business or if you don't. But just know there are advantages, but there's no right or wrong answer, especially when you're just getting started and you're not sure exactly what direction to go in. Just go talk to people, get a few businesses under your belt, and over time, you'll start understanding and realizing, okay, there's certain businesses I like to work with or certain types of business owners I like to work with and some that I don't like as much. And that's how you can kind of start crafting your ideal clients over time.